Where are you from? New York City. What was your first break? I would have to say the first uh, thing that kind of made a big difference, uh, Sons of Anarchy, was uh, that was that changed the game for me. Changed everything. And what have you been in? Uh, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, little show called Luke Cage now. Uh, Low Riders comes out this Friday. And I feel like every other thing, a lot of things. I've been doing this a long time, it feels like. How do you feel about this career? It's afforded me the right to do a lot of things that I love to do. How did you decide to become an actor? I didn't. It just kind of uh, was a happy accident, a complete and utter accident. And uh, I, I, I've been, it's been happening ever since. Uh, so it's just been going ever since. Uh, it was just a complete, complete and utter coincidence. How would you describe your specialty or type? I, but there is no type. I, I, the people can't seem to put me in a box. They have, they have no idea. And I have no interest in going inside the box. So, no type, no box, no nothing. Who is your favorite actor you look up to? Acting wise, favorite actor of all time, um, Betty Davis. Um, uh, look up to? Uh, I, you know, I, I, I admire uh, a lot of people's careers on the way they, uh, the way they handled and navigated throughout the business. I would say Paul Newman, uh, some, some that are, you know, people like Jimmy Smith, uh, Demi and Bashir, people now who are low-key and killing the game, Javier Bardem. What would your ideal job be? Uh, my ideal job would be probably, uh, full-time anything to do with animals, uh, wildlife, uh, rescuing, and helping as many, uh, not just animals, any, any, any voiceless creature, anything voiceless, giving a voice to the voiceless. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? I don't believe in luck. I believe in uh, preparation meets opportunity. But I think that I've had an uh, extremely navigated, uh, looked over life. What advantages do you have? Rational thinking. I look at things in an extremely rational, blue collar way. I have no illusion, uh, delusions of what things are. I'm very aware of, uh, of how things are. I try to see it from every single perspective, not just my own. What did you do before? Criminal minded. Um, blue collar. Been working since I was nine years old. Delivering papers, working in pork stores. Any way I had to make money. Any way, any way to make a dollar and uh, uh, always been hustling. Hustle life. My whole life. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Uh, education. Diploma. Could always run. What do you think about the need for instant gratification? The need for instant gratification does not give a lot of people time to reflect and think about anything that they're paying attention to in the headline society that we live in. I think that instant gratification has stopped us from truly thinking about things and processing them. How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Fascinating. Utterly fascinating. Uh, it's given us the awareness of other people, other cultures, other heritage, things that are going on. It's given us um, the ability to organize, set up revolutions, anything. Anything, uh, uh, it's given more people a chance to, to experience other people's lives quicker. What does the future look like to you? Uh, watching my kids grow old and looking up at them when I take my last breath. How do you feel about having children? It's what I was meant to do. It's what I, it's, uh, it's, it feels like the reason I was put here. What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? 
The biggest challenge that the world is facing today, I think, is self-centeredness. I think it's a very, uh, I think we've become a me society, and that's all out of fear. I think fear has overridden everything. I think that fear is the basis of most things that are going on right now. And that fear has led us to make decisions in, most, in, in, in almost all cases that I've seen. Whether it be braggadocious or people, you know, wanting to live certain lives. Just fear. Ultimately, just people are scared. They don't know what's going to happen next. They don't know what their next job's going to be. They don't know their next meal's going to come. They don't know how, how anything's going to happen. And that un, being so unsure has uh, made people make some really bad decisions. What are you most grateful for? My life. The fact that I'm actually standing here. Because this was by no means uh, not even a remote possibility. So the fact that I'm able to do this, which, which I love, the fact that I'm able to do what I love, the fact that I'm able to pursue a million other things because of this, the fact that I'm able to show my kid kids that uh, they can absolutely do anything, I'm extremely grateful for every day. What is your favorite way to communicate? Conversation. Looking someone directly in the eyes and having a personal conversation. No lies, no bullshit. Just honesty. What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Oh, God. Music right now, and consistently always somehow come back to Edith Piaf. Uh, I, I uh, seem to, my son is obsessed with No Regrets right now, uh, one of her songs. Um, films, uh, I'm starting to try to watch more new films, uh, especially since I've been flying all over. So uh, I've just been utterly blown away by one of my friend's films, uh, Moonlight. I thought it was absolutely incredible. Um, but I'm an old film guy. I watch a lot of old films repeatedly from all about Eve to Godfather to, to Kubrick films. I'm just an old, I, I don't want to sound like a pretentious actor, but I kind of like old films. And when I say old, I'm talking like even like Armageddon and The Rock, Con Air, anything with Nick Cage. Um, uh, books, uh, what am I reading right now? The, uh, uh, I'm reading the Tim Ferriss book, a uh, motivational book that's kind of cool. Um, uh, the People's History of the United States I'm reading right now. Um, and a lot of scripts. So, all those writers. I can't tell you who, but there's a couple of them. And they're pretty good, so.